Крыму. Fucking awesome. Hey guys, welcome back to Honeycomb. My name is Keo, and today we're gonna be unboxing a bunch of new stuff. We have a new skate deck. We've got uh, a package from Nobody Clothing, a local streetwear brand. Um, we have some coffee stuff from Kento, and there's some ice cream. Uh, if you're not yet subscribed, please do subscribe. It does help us a lot. Um, we're coming up on that 1,000 mark, or we may be, by the time this gets posted, we've, we've passed 1,000. Um, so we will have a giveaway very soon. And do make sure to subscribe on Instagram. I'm at Keo Hwasha on Instagram. You can also follow at Daily Drink Mag on Instagram. Follow at Ajima Mag on Instagram. And follow at Honeycomb Manila, which is this, our studio in Double Dragon Plaza, Pasay City, Manila. All right, so let's get to opening it. Let's start with a big one. This is a big box. Um, I told you before, we've unboxed uh, one skateboard already. And I said earlier in the year that there would be a number of these coming in. This is the second one. And inside the box, there's a lot of paper this time before we had that big, like, giant bubble wrap thing. And the first thing inside here is um, the hanging kit. So this says skate pit tick. <laughs> I guess like dip tick, but skate tick. Skateboard wall mount. So this is supposedly one of the best um, skate mounts that you can get. So came with a skateboard. That's pretty cool. And then what else do we have in here? Oh, we have the order slip from 1X Run or One Time Run, which is the producer of the skate deck. And oh, so we did get some of the nice fat bubble wrap in there. I'm gonna throw the box here on the floor. All right, and this is the skate deck. All right. I kind of got a peek from, the, from when I flipped it over. And uh, I think that this particular skate deck is kind of cool because it kind of overlaps a lot of our interests here at Honeycomb or yeah, here in Honeycomb all at the same time. All right, so here we have the Certificate of Authenticity. It says, Go Skateboarding Day 2020. Love my J's. 8 by 31.875 inches archival pigment print transfer on cold pressed steep natural skate deck edition size 15 so this is one of only 15 there were two artist proofs made and two printer proofs made which means that there are a total of 19 that were made available in total but only 15 are available to the public this is one of 15 um, and it's actually numbered it looks like so these are numbered and signed by Jason Atienza. And it says over here, there it says six of 15, one times run. And the signature Jason Atienza. And let's flip it over. This is Love My Jays by Jason Atienza. So Jason Atienza is a uh, He's an American Filipino or Filipino American, as they like to say, an Asian American. Um, but right now he's living and he's been working out of China for a long time. Now Jason Atienza did a lot, has done a lot in basketball and sneakers um, over the years. He very famously did a bunch of stuff for Shivas Regal. And on this particular skate deck, he decided to do a design based on the Jordan 1, which is a very popular model for skateboarding, at least in the 80s. And I think Jason's around my age, so he would remember that. Um, so yeah, it's cool. George, uh, Jason also does a lot of work with Nike in the, the flagship stores that they have in China, in Shanghai. And uh, maybe sometime we can get Jason on the phone to talk a bit more about this deck. Yeah, so this is the Jason Atenza skate deck. We're gonna put it up somewhere here um, with the skate tip, skate tip. Skate tick uh, wall mount. We'll use it to mount it somewhere here inside the studio. So yeah, shout out to Jason Atienza. All right, so I'm gonna put that down there. One of 15, that's pretty cool. So we, we have a bunch more skateboards coming in. Um, let's do next the Nobody. So this is uh, 
says made by a bunch of nobodies. The order is actually addressed to my wife. This is actually hers. This is Nika's. And it comes in this uh it comes in this plastic bag that they ship their t-shirts out in. So I'm guessing this is just their regular shipping bag. And you open up the zip and So it looks like they sealed it on the wrong side of the Ziploc. So I'm going to have to cut this open. Uh, Alright, so inside of the Ziploc, we have this velvet uh, bag. And it's nice, it has a little label here that says made by a bunch of nobodies. Red velvet bag to ship out a... Oh, so it's not quite a bandana, it's more like a, like a scarf. All right, so it's like a synthetic satin kind of material, and I'm guessing that this is probably sublimated in. You have the moth that's kind of part of the storytelling. It's a repeating theme for nobody. The quality is quite nice. The print is, uh, I mean, there's no pixelation or anything, um, which is sometimes a worry when you're dealing with any, any digital process like this. And I, I do think that this is a digital process. Um, and you can even see here like where it scallops on the on the fringe of the design that the quality is there in the print like it doesn't get fuzzy or anything this is nice not particularly for me but it's it's nice to have a um, local streetwear brands doing things other than silk screen t-shirts comes with a sticker all nobody designs come with a sticker and then they have a is this also a sticker? No, it's a card of the actual design and that doesn't open up. It's just like a two-sided like little bookmark for the card. It says that it is the Moonflower Bandana. So the name of the flower that's on the, I'm guessing that's this one, is the Moonflower. Um, I would like to know a bit more about the designs of Nobody. Um, or about like why they chose to do that flower. They have a tendency to always have storytelling with every one of their little designs. Oh, there's a third sticker. That's pretty cool. Okay, now we have a couple more things from Kinto. This one is uh, something I haven't seen before. It's called the Column Coffee Dripper. All right, um, on the box it says that there's a spoon, a dripper, and a saucer and then press the filters button to remove it as the illustration. So, um, and then it shows here that you're supposed to put it directly on top of a coffee cup and do a pour over into there. All right, so let's open it up. The color is red and it's, uh, it's made of the same plastic that the cafe press is made of. And, okay, got it, got it, got it. All right, so comes with this filter so as with a lot of the Kinto stuff they try to have like paper filterless uh, brewing systems and so this would sit like this inside of the holder and then the whole holder would sit on this saucer when you're not brewing it's probably the same material but the cafe press um, is frosted all over and this kind of has a shiny aesthetic to it and then the spoon sits over there so the spoons I mean, it's a nice addition, but you don't really need it. Um, and then this whole thing would sit on top of a cup. So I have a cup here and the whole thing would sit like that and you would do your pour over through there. Um, although you probably want some sort of cover, right? All right, so we're gonna experiment with that. Thank you to Kinto for sending this over. This is a review unit. And as with all the Kinto stuff, we'll send it back. So they actually sent, Kinto actually sent over a couple more of these cafe press um, devices, brewers. And um, we actually have finished reviewing the Cafe Press. Um, we just haven't edited and posted the video yet. And we sent back the other ones that they sent us. So I don't know why they sent us some more. I guess maybe some new colorways. No, this is the same blue colorway that, that we saw before. And then, oh, so this is a new color. This one is a green Cafe Press. All right, I like this color. All right, so you have a green craft cafe press. We have the blue one as well, but you've seen that one already. Make sure you're subscribed because our cafe press video will be coming out in the next week. So just uh, stay tuned for that, stay subscribed. And uh, yeah, that's coming up next.
All right, so last we have some ice cream. All right, so here we have a insulated package. It came like this inside another plastic bag. And on the label, it says, To Keo Kosho, we teamed up with the finest masala chai producer in the metro for our newest flavor, chai latte. A fusion of Japanese barley tea, muji cha, and Indian spice tea, masala chai. Please keep this secret until Friday, April 16, which is today. And then it has here the logos of the, the ice cream brand, Kurimu which is a Japanese-inspired ice cream um, kind of boutique maker here uh, out of Quezon City. And Jacob's Well, a tea company, a chai company. So Jacob's Well is actually a very old friend of ours and uh, one of our partners in our community in Kobao Expo before, uh, Kendo Creative. Some of you who know us from Kendo might remember um, our chai tea lattes over there. And uh, later on, towards the end of Kendo, um, if you want to read about Kendo, it's on Ejima.com, why we closed. But uh, towards the end, Ralph, the proprietor of Jacob's Well, came and partnered with us in Kendo as well. So yeah, very happy to see this. And this is the Kurimu Chai Latte flavor. And I've heard a lot of good things about the brand Kurimu. And then it says, uh, believe it or not, ice cream is best stored upside down to avoid ice crystals from forming. Make sure to securely fasten the lid. Best consumed within two months. All right, so this is a pint. I wanna thank uh, Brian over at uh, at Kurimu for sending this over. Um, we were actually chatting about it before and talking about them maybe doing a chai latte flavor. All right. Mm. I know this chai very well. Um, we, we've served hundreds of cups of this chai latte. So that's the color of the ice cream. The pint is totally filled up to the brim. And I'm gonna just scoop it out. So we can take a taste of the Kurimu Times Jacob's Well Chai Latte ice cream all right so uh, let's taste it chai latte from Kurimu or is it Kurimu here we are again Sashiko Sashiko Kurimu that's a Japanese way of saying cream in English oh it is cream oh. Kurimu ah oh, that's good that's fucking awesome that's really good. Mm. You taste all of the chai latte, all the chai, I should say, in, I'm just gonna eat this whole thing, it's so good. Great texture, very creamy, sweet, not too sweet. It's not an overpowering sweetness. It tastes just like the sweetness of the chai latte. So I think that because they really captured the flavor in this ice cream of what Jacob's Well Chai tastes like. And there's really no other flavors. Like the Kurimu ice cream really is the texture and the vehicle that brings a flavor to you. Maybe a little bit of that milky flavor, but it tastes really a lot like Jacob's Well Chai which Jacob's Well makes as a concentrate. So if you're making it into like an ice chai, you put it in water and then ice. And then us, we actually use Jacob's Well chai as an analog for espresso. So some chai lattes, they just have hot milk and, and the chai. And what we do is we, we put a dose of chai similar to an espresso into the cup and then do latte art into the cup. And that, that's how you make it. And I think this, just based on the flavor, I think that um, Brian and, and the team over at Kurimu must have literally just poured bottles and bottles of the Jacob's Well Chai Concentrate into the ice cream machine to make this, or however they're making it, I don't know. Oh my gosh. It's delicious. 
This might be the best ice cream I've had all year. And we've been staying home, so I've been eating a lot of ice cream. I'm probably a little bit biased because I love Ralph and Brian's a friend. But you guys gotta try this. You gotta try this, it's so good. All right, so I'm gonna finish eating this. Thank you guys for watching. That's the stuff that we've unboxed. We're back in the studio. We have a bunch of stuff coming out. We have the Cafe Press review coming out. We have an Explode Then Compress coming out in the next coming days. Uh, we're coming up on a thousand, so we're gonna be doing a giveaway um, to celebrate that. And with that, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Please do subscribe. Uh, tell your friends to subscribe and follow along on Instagram. I'm at KO Kosh on Instagram. Follow at Daily Drink Mag on Instagram. Follow at Honeycomb Manila on Instagram. And if, you, if you'd like to also follow at Ajima Mag on Instagram. I wish you guys good luck. I wish you guys good health. I wish you guys some great coffee and great drinks and great ice cream. Um, if you want to order Kurimo, uh, they have a, you can follow them on Instagram at kurimu.ph and that's K U R I M U dot P A. You can also follow Jacob's Well Chai at Jacob's Well Chai on Instagram, on Facebook, and uh, Jacob's Well Chai dot com. All right, that's about it. I am going to. Stop talking so I can eat more ice cream. Mm. I wish you guys good luck. I wish you guys good health. Stay safe, y'all. Wear a mask. Peace.